Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru and welcome to another pickups video. Uh, this is everything that I either went and picked up or received in the mail during the month of uh, May 2022, with an, a bit of an exception <clears throat> because I have to start out by showing off two items that I actually received before that that I completely forgot to include in my previous pickups video. So had I not forgotten to do that, I probably wouldn't quite have enough to justify its own month uh, pickup video. But here we are. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to show off is something that came a few weeks ago. And that is the 8-Bit Do um, uh, SM30 Pro Plus. Uh, it was actually a bit of a mistake. I was supposed to be getting the Pro 2. Uh, or at least that's what I thought, but I went back and looked at my order, and it was, in fact, the Pro Plus that I ordered. So I had intended to order the Pro 2, but must have selected the wrong one at checkout, and <clears throat> yeah. But uh, initial impressions are good. I've been messing around with this and uh, giving it a try. was playing it on, uh, using it on the Mr. the other day, and it feels good. D-pad, I think, is probably uh, quite a bit better than the one on the original SF30 that I have. It feels much better. It's more responsive. The action is nicer. So um, I definitely like that. But I'm going to be giving this uh, a pretty, pretty thorough checking out here over time. <clears throat> There's the, the back of the box there. And like a lot of them, it's got the slip cover. You've got your nice, nice box that it comes in. And then it comes with this little, oops, this little uh, instruction sheet, little card here that talks about the software. And then there's a USB-C cable in there as well that uh, I probably won't need to use anytime soon because I generally just charge it by plugging into the USB-C cable I usually get uh, keep plugged into my switch dock, but um, yeah, so far I'm liking it, and uh, I don't think I've used it enough yet to say I can wholeheartedly recommend it. But my initial impressions are positive. <clears throat> Next up, something that I had been waiting on for some time, and. Uh, wondered when it was finally going to arrive, and then it did, <clears throat> and like a doofus, I forgot to show it off. And that is the Rigid Force Redux uh, physical release. And this is, of course, the, uh, the special or limited edition. It is from Game Fairy, and uh, we'll open this up and take a look. Uh, I like, I already know I like Rigid Force Redux because I bought it on. Uh, the switch digitally a year or so ago when it came out and <clears throat> put a bunch of time into it played through and uh, beat the easy difficulty I haven't gone back and and done that with the uh, the normal mode yet but uh, I may save that for when we actually cover the game in the shmup club but yeah this is uh, a release that came out now a few years ago on um, well, that's a nice little nice little box cover there with the Game Fairy logo uh, came out a few years ago on uh, PC as Rigid Force Alpha and then was ported to the Switch and uh, kind of tweaked and renamed as Rigid Force Redux so it looks like I've got uh, 330 or 355 out of however many of uh, the thousand, I guess, that they produced. There's the back of the card there. <clears throat> Here we've got a Rigid Force Redux. Uh, I think this might be a magnet, like a refrigerator magnet, with uh, the AI on it that uh, kind of advises you in the game. This, I'm wondering, what this is, this little uh, flap here. Rigid Force Redux. Oh, it's a stamp. 
Oh, that's kind of neat. It's sort of like a, it's like a stamp that you would buy to put on a, a letter or like a collectible stamp that you would get. So that's kind of neat. A little sticker stamp there. So here we've got, pull out the contents here. So right away, oh yeah, CD soundtrack, this is great. Uh, the soundtrack is very sort of um, retro wave, I guess you would call it. And so um, I don't know that the soundtrack is spectacular, but if you're into the style, then it's a good lesson. So we'll be ripping that to the computer and probably taking pictures of this and adding that to uh, <laughs> going and adding that to Discogs. And then we've got this nice art book, hardbound. And let's see what we've got in here. A little preface from one of the dev team. So let's see, we've got the Rigid Force Alpha. We've got information on Psy, that AI that I showed you before. Yeah, so some definite uh, Vic Viper and R9A um, inspiration, both in the design of the Rigid Force Alpha itself. <clears throat> or at least in the concept art. There you go, some nice Nice high res renders. <clears throat> and there's Psy, the AI that's in your ship. Some nice high res versions of the weapon capsules. And enemies there. Very cool. Yeah, the behemoth, stage two boss. What else? Oh, this, uh, this mole boss definitely gave me a lot of trouble. Nice concept art throughout this book. Yeah, this is this is good. Neat stuff. Oh, and there we go. Storyboarding and sketch art. Always kind of cool to see early early ideas and early visions of what uh, what would ultimately make it into the game. So this is a really nice art book and uh, a nice addition to this package. And then, of course, <clears throat> we have the game itself. Let's go ahead and crack this open. We can see inside here. So here's the front of the game and the back. Ah, yes. So it does have a reversible cover. So instead of this design there on the front, you could also get that design. And the game does, uh, does come with a manual or an instruction booklet as it's labeled here. Standard uh, kind of Game Boy size manual that are often common for Switch games that actually have manuals. Yeah, and yeah, that, that's a nice, nice uh, high quality thick manual. And then there's the uh, game card itself. So yeah, Rigid Force Redux. This is a pretty solid, uh, I'll say, vaguely R-type influenced uh, game that I think more people should know about and be 
aware of because it's a it's a quality it's a solid title and something that I think <clears throat> most shoot 'em up fans who are who are into our type and similar games will appreciate and enjoy. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check this and see if it's actually a magnet or uh, if I'm just imagining things, <laughs> which could very well be the case. So that is Rigid Force Redux. Again, something that I got in the mail a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago, but totally forgot to show off in uh, the previous video. Now let's move on to something that I picked up, a couple things I picked up at Goodwill the other day. Um, for whatever reason, I've had the second and third game in this series for quite some time, but I guess I've never stumbled across a good copy of the first one on PS3, and that is Resistance Fall of Man. So now I finally have a complete copy of this game, and uh, might be a good time here soon to play through these. Kind of playing through random games in my backlog, in my collection, uh, you know, evenings and weekends when I have time after streams or in between things. So might be a good time to do that. I also picked up a another copy of Killzone 2 for the PS3, but this copy is exceedingly clean and it looks nicer than the copy I've got on the shelf. So I might just swap it out and then um, donate that other, that other copy, <clears throat> excuse me, on the, uh, the next RF Generation fun drive. Because um, that will be a fun thing to do. Uh, let's see, a couple more things I got in the mail here. One that I was waiting on for a little while, and that is Andro Dunos 2. Uh, now this is the uh, this is the 3DS version, and as you can see on the back, it is stamped 429 of 6,000. Um, I am not a sealed game collector, but because this is likely going to be the worst way to play this game, I'm actually going to leave this sealed because this is looking like it's going to be the final physical 3DS game. So I'm going to hedge my bets and uh, hope that maybe eventually I can, uh, I can turn this around. We'll see. Um, I don't really buy games for that purpose, but this is one that I'm thinking... I, 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 I bought it thinking... I kind of fell into the FOMO trap. I bought it thinking, oh, I better buy it now before I uh, won't have a chance. And realistically, I would much rather play this on every other system or platform that it's released for rather than the 3DS. Um, but there are going to be probably some ardent 3DS folks out there who, for whatever reason, didn't buy this early on, and then when they're going for a complete collection later, you know, at least I could get my monies back. <clears throat> uh, that also came with the uh, a VGNY soft sticker, since it is that release, and of course the postcard. So I'll be holding on to that and keeping that with the, the game. And like I said, it's I didn't buy it for the purpose of, of scalping it. That's not what I'm planning on doing. I'm not going to turn right around and throw this on eBay. I'm going to hold on to this, and when the time comes to cover this game for my Shmup Club and podcast, I may decide to open it. But at that point in time, if I don't have a working 3DS or I don't feel like actually diving into it, then I may look at, at uh, you know, flipping it. The more exciting thing that I got in the mail, however, is the Flying Shark and uh, Fire Shark collection, or Hishu Same Same Same. <clears throat> and so I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, open this up. This was kind of interesting how they shipped this with this backboard <clears throat> and uh, and stuff because of the 
because of the magazine that came with it. And unfortunately, it is, in, it is a very flimsy paper. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we got a couple things here. We've got this Beep magazine covering the Flying Shark and Fire Shark. That'll be interesting. And then that was taped down with the actual game itself. Toplan Arcade Garage series. I'm just going to call this Volume 2 because it is the second uh, second iteration. I will definitely be firing this up, so no need to wait. I'm going to go ahead and break the seal and show this off because I have done so with all the other M2 releases. So here we've got the uh, front of the PS4 case there and the back. And not a manual necessarily, but a but a little playing guide. And uh, looks like a code with some DLC. Which I think yeah, is going to be the Ticky Pocky and Wardner components. Uh, speaking of which, this also has a a alt, an alternate cover showing off the Hishosame part or the flying shark portion as opposed to the fire shark portion which is uh, or Same 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 aka shark 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 which is what is highlighted on the uh, regular art. And this package also came with this alternate cover, which is the Forest of Wardner. And that is the uh, bonus non shmup Toe Plan arcade game that uh, they released as part of this as part of this package. Well, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there you have it. <clears throat> Hisho Same Same Same, uh, which is a collection of uh, Flying Shark, uh, or Hisho Same and Flying Shark, and then Same 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 and Fire Shark, and then, of course, the, um, the console versions of Sky Shark and... Same 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 and Fire Shark are included on the physical version, which is great. I already have Sky Shark um, complete a box over here, actually, and I've got Fire Shark, both the original Genesis cartridge only, and then the new version that uh, Retrobit did in that box set sitting on the shelf right there. But uh, it's cool to have them available as well, and having the Japanese Sami 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 Genesis or Mega Drive rather version will be cool as well because that will be uh, that will be fun to to be able to compare uh, let's see here <clears throat> a couple more things that I got in the mail recently this is the Spider-Man Game of the Year edition on PS4 this was something that I kind of bought on a whim through a fellow RFGen member, uh, Sean, aka GreyGhost81, uh, on the RF Generation Playcast podcast. Go check that out. Um, he messaged me, or uh, he threw a message out there to a group of us and said, Hey, I'm getting rid of this. Uh, does anybody want it? And oh, by the way, the DLC has not been used. So I basically got this like new game that has the DLC included that I'll be able to hopefully redeem um, if I can get my PS4 to go back online again. For some reason, it's not doing so. Um, and uh, yeah, so I decided I wanted to pick that up because uh, I've heard really good things about this game. And of course, the Game of the Year edition means that um, it probably is hopefully going to have some fixes or patches on the disc as opposed to just a reprint of the of original. 
I also grabbed this new shoot 'em up that came out through um, Red Art Games. Kind of got shadow dropped, and that is IAI. Um, <clears throat> it is a vertical scrolling shmup, but it is also a widescreen 16 by 9, so it's very much a vertizontal in that respect. Not my favorite, but the game did look like it was solid. So there's the front, sans plastic. There's the rear of the game there. And I hear that the disc is, must have got dislodged in the shipping from Europe to uh, the United States. And there's the inside. Uh, but yeah, just kind of randomly showed up and <clears throat> got an email about it because I'm on their mailing list and whenever I see new shmups from limited publishers like this I typically always try to grab them um, so yeah it's uh, it's another shoot 'em up who to thunk <laughs> uh, let's see next let's go to the largest item that I got over the last month and this was a pawn shop find and that is a PS3 Slim. Uh, this is a CECH2501A, and so I'm planning on um, planning on soft modding this bad boy. Uh, before I do that, I may try and move the. Uh, this is a 160 gig unit. I may try and move the 250 gig hard drive over from one of my PS3 Super Slims that is currently dead. Uh, I think it needs a new power supply, but I haven't got that far yet. But this did come with the power cable, um, a USB charging cable, HDMI, and a stock controller. And so, yeah, my plan is to probably just soft mod this and uh, mess around with that, with some homebrew and stuff like that. Because I already have a working super slim I've had for years that, uh, um, that I've have been playing a lot of PS3 games on, and uh, that's in my main setup. This will probably go on one of my other TVs, but uh, yeah, cool to have a different model since I've already had two Super Slims. It's nice to have a Slim and uh, have an extra. <clears throat> and finally, I'll just go over a handful of games that I picked up here the other day. The game store that I like to go to here regionally, or well, I say locally, but it's still an hour away. And I've probably said that in every video that I've recorded um, here more recently. But um, but uh, they were having a 20% off sale. And I also had a gift card that my brother had given me for my birthday over a month ago <laughs> that I finally decided to cash in. Um, so I picked up a few things. So. For PSP, scratching a couple more games off my list, I got My Spanish Coach, <clears throat> Lord of Arcana, which I was not familiar with, but according to the clerk at the store who said this was his copy that he sold back into the store, he said it's decent. And then I reacquired the Sega Genesis collection. I showed this off a few years ago in my re-unboxing video and then at some point I actually gave my copy to one of my nephews um, with a couple of other games for either a birthday or Christmas present and anyway it never made its way back to me so I reacquired it because I wanted to make sure that I had it. On PlayStation 3 uh, <clears throat> I got the God of War Origins collection. This is one I've been on the lookout for uh, quite some time. When I bought the original God of War collection on PS3, I bought it new, and this is back in probably 2012 or early early 2013 when I first got my PS3, I want to say. And so it came with the God of War 1, 2, and 3 on disc, and then it came with a DLC code for these two games. Uh, Ghosts of Spar Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus, which are PSP games in a sort of remastered format um, and done on PS3. 
But the aforementioned super slim PS3 that is dead is the system that had these two games on it. Uh, so I can't be I can't be assured that I'm going to be able to bring that thing back to life or that moving the hard drive over is going to make those games playable because they may still be keyed to that old PS3. So in order to avoid the ability that I won't be able to access them again, physical. So glad to finally find this in physical form in good condition. Uh, on Wii U, and I'm going to take this out of the protective box because they had it in there for the, because it was in their display case. Um, and not just on the shelf, because this has gone up in price recently. But, uh, I did kind of let the FOMO get to me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to show off what I paid for it, but it is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I bought, uh, I bought the, uh, not Wind Waker, I'm sorry, Twilight Princess. I bought Wind Waker HD not long after it came out, but for whatever reason, I didn't buy this right away. And now I kind of regret it because I ended up spending more than I wanted to on it. Um, but again, 20% off and a gift card for my brother means that I didn't quite have to spend all that much. So I'm glad to finally have this one because uh, I, did, I did want to have it. There's still a possibility that it could be coming to Switch, uh, but I would like to have it with the Wii U features. <clears throat> Anyway, and since I'm kind of casually working my way toward a full Wii U set, it's one that I had to have. Uh, on the NES, I ended up with a copy of Isolated Warrior. This is an isometric, uh, I would call it a shmup. You might also call it an auto-scrolling run-and-gun, uh, but you control the character who's on the, on the box art. And uh, you can jump over gaps and stuff, uh, but because it auto scrolls, you can only move X and Y axes, and uh, your only method of attacking is shooting things. I'm gonna call it a shmup. This was uh, released by NTV International Corporation, um, but I'm fairly certain that this was de designed by Kid, who also designed the uh, uh, Kickmaster game and the G.I. Joe NES games and a couple of other things. I'm fairly certain that it was Kid who designed this. I'm going to double check that, but I want to say off the top of my head, that's what I remember. So always glad to grab another shmup, particularly one that... Uh, <clears throat> that I had uh, had been lacking for quite some time. And speaking of shmups I had been lacking for some time, we come to the final game, and that is Granada. And like all the renovation titles, it has gone up in price and has become hard to find. But when I saw this in the case and I saw the price, I thought, please let it be complete. Please let it be complete. And when he opened it up for me, I was excited because it is in fact complete with the manual. Uh, the cartridge could be in better shape. It's got a little bit of, of uh, wear and tear on it. Label is, uh, looks like it might have, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened with the label, but it's kind of bubbled up a little bit. But the game is in otherwise solid condition. And I finally have this Genesis shoot 'em up in my library. Again, always glad to add another shmup. So, as you can see with my uh, <laughs> my purchases here over the um, over the last month, yeah, there's a decent amount of shmup action. Oh, I said that was the last game, but it's not. One more game, and that is a Game Boy title that I've been waiting to get for quite some time. Batman the Animated Series. I've played this but I've never owned a copy. So I'm really glad to finally have this. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it's generally well regarded. And um, so I, I believe now I have all the Batman titles for the Game Boy because you've got Batman, 
uh, Batman the Animated Series, Batman Return of the Joker, or Revenge of the Joker, I don't remember what the what the, the name is, and then Batman Forever. Um, I think that's it. So, anyway, yeah, Batman the Animated Series, very glad to have that. Cool that I was able to, uh, to finally add that to the library, and um, that'll be in the, in the review queue for when I finally get back to having some kind of rhythm with reviewing Game Boy games. Uh, so anyway, uh, just looking at my table here, um, making sure I don't have anything else that I'm going to forget and then apologize for next month. Uh, so yeah, that is all I've got to show off. Uh, thank you all for staying with me through the whole video, hopefully. And um, let me know of the stuff that I got here uh, that I showed off today. What stuff would you be most excited about if you found it out in the wild or it arrived in your mailbox? discuss in the comments below and uh, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, I know for myself now that uh, now that I've moved on to a new shmup for the month uh, I may have to throw this in the PS4 and uh, give this some love because I do love me some some fire shark. Uh, <clears throat> yeah so anyway uh, if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing so you can see more of my videos in your YouTube feed. I'll have a link in the description to my blog where you can check out my Game Boy reviews. That is GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.